Okay, I'm so excited to finally vlog this for you guys. You have been asking for it nonstop on Instagram, and here it is. This is Elsie's nursery tour. Here's a quick shot before I show you everything we have going on in here. So I would have ideally loved to have gotten a new white chair, but this was Stevie's chair from her nursery and I just had no excuse to buy a new one. So I threw this adorable uh, Magnolia muslin quilt on here and this is from Spearmint Baby. I think it was about $50. It is so, 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 so sweet. It has like these little bumblebee details on it. I, This is my favorite pattern. That's kind of what I went off for her room. Like I went off of this blanket right here. Um, and then we have this really, really pretty gold brass lamp. And what I love about this is this head is adjustable. It moves. So if you need it to like lean one way or another, it moves. I also got that from Tarte or I got that from Target. Um, this stand right here, I needed something super small um, that's going to not take up too much space, obviously, just to throw a couple books on. And that is from the Magnolia line, the hearth and hand line at Target. Most of you already know this is the Ikea dresser. It originally came with black knobs and I switched them out for these flat gold knobs and I love them. This dresser is amazing. It has so many drawers. I keep in this drawer all of her pants. And then I do tops, onesies, pajamas, and diapers. This is the perfect, perfect dresser for us. And I'm embarrassed to show you this, but I'm gonna show you anyway. This is her bow, bow and hat drawer. How ridiculous is that? Up here, I just have a quilted changing pad. And then I just have this braided wicker um, basket holding some of our baby items. I always keep like uh, something for her to play with on the dresser. So when I brush her hair or clip her nails, she is occupied. If you have not tried this Tubby Todd bath coat not natural all over ointment, it is such, such a good product. Let's see if I can get that into focus. Sorry. I'm working with one hand. Um, it is such a good product. It's perfect for sensitive skin. If you have eczema or KP or anything like that, you can also use this as, um, what is this called? Diaper rash cream. You can also use that for that. Also, this is my favorite hand sanitizer from Grove Collaborative. It's the only hand sanitizer that doesn't crack my hands and make them like super dry. So love that. We have the Hatch Baby um, sound machine. So you just tap the top, you can change the color, change the sound, and then you hold it down on the top to turn it off. It also has controls at the bottom if you need them. So that's a fun little gadget. Then this cute lamp actually came from Stevie's nursery. I just transferred it over here. The colors fit really well with Elsie's room and that's from Target as well. And this is our baby monitor. This is the lollipop baby monitor. It has been amazing for us. This is the second one that we have had. Stevie has one in her room as well and I'm able to watch them both on my phone. But we love it. You can uh, mount it, which is what we intend to do in a few. Um, this is her crib. Obviously, this is from Target. I got it so cheap. It was like around $150. I'm obsessed with it. I love the natural wood look. And then this sheet I have shared before. They have it on Spearmint. I'm not quite sure where we got it from. And then her absolute favorite nighttime essential is the Yeti Slumberkins. She's obsessed with this one. This one specifically is her favorite. She also has the... Oh, he's stuck. The unicorn slumberkins as well. That's her second, her second one that she likes. This is our basket wall. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it before. It is like my absolute favorite. It was a dream come true watching Steve put this together. My sister-in-law got this for Elsie for Christmas, I believe, from Etsy. And then these baskets I randomly found on Marketplace from just different people. Steve framed in these walls and made three borders, if you can see them, I hope you can. And that detail just added so much to this room. It just kind of made it, that wall pop a little bit more, made it look just more elegant. Over here is her closet. There's nothing fancy in there. I do plan on showing you an organizational video for that. And then up here we have her baby book. 
And then these two matching signs, the rainbow and the stripes, we got from a small shop in Sabetha, Kansas. It's, I believe, called our Creative Farmhouse, but I will tag them below in the description box if you are interested in these signs. I absolutely love them and I love the company that they came from. We have, I don't even know what this plant is. Is that considered a succulent? I'm not even sure, but it's real. And this little pot was just too cute. I loved it. It's from Target. This teddy bear is actually Steve's first teddy bear. Sorry. And then I have her nine month old sign because we use that for pictures. I got this BU sign at Target as well. And then these two shelves right here are also from Target. These are the 24 inch shelves. They have two sizes. So is that little flower arrangement that's also from Target. Then down here, I used um, her baby, her Moses basket that she used to sleep in to store all of her snuggly little items. Um, so all of her slumberkins and her stuffies and then her blankets are in here as well. These um, baskets that are inside of the Moses basket are from Target. Um, our really good friend Nicole got her this adorable rocking bunny at, um, I think it was Hallmark Baby, and they are out of business, so she got this dirt cheap. I wish I could link this, but I can't. It is the absolute cutest. I am obsessed with this little um, accessory in her room. I didn't show you before, but this is her laundry basket. We got this from Target. I wanted to use that as a blanket basket, but it looked really cute and it works really well for laundry. Same with this little trash bin. We don't have a diaper genie. We just take this trash can out every day. I take it out at bedtime every night and it is actually super, super cute. It's super heavy and sturdy and that gold touch just helped that corner out, I felt like. Then we have this rug and I was questioning whether I was going to keep it in here or not but I because it looks a little bit like the color is a little bit off next to the crib and the dresser but I haven't found a rug I liked more but meanwhile it's cute enough. I do love the pattern. I just wish it was more white but this is Elsie's room. Mama. Oh I didn't even mention her archway mirror right here is from Kirkland's. Um, it was pretty expensive. We got it a couple years ago. They still have it there now, but we got this for Stevie's room and then we just transferred it over here because it fit better in here. It is super heavy and sturdy and I felt like it just gave it a little bit of a um, an extra textured touch. That is their Jack and, or their Jack and Jill bathroom, their Jill and Jill bathroom. That's the door to the girl's bathroom. Let's peek and see if they're in here. babies. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you do like videos like this, give it a thumbs up and let me know. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new here. Welcome. If you want any of the links for any of the items that you saw, go ahead to the description box and they should all be posted there. If there's anything that you see that I forgot to link, let me know in the comments box. If you have any questions or comments, that's where to go. I hope you guys stick around for my next video and I will see you then.